So guys, this is a massive, massive episode. We are finally going back to Alaska. Yes, we're going to the snow. I know some of you guys probably want me to do Michigan 100%. And I will be going back there, I promise. But for the next couple of episodes, we are in the snow. If you guys could be awesome, sign into YouTube. Leave a like on the video. I appreciate all the support. And again, there will be affiliate links to the game in the description below. But enough of that. Let's head out. And let's explore Alaska. I am so, so hyped. So hyped. It's unreal. Also, just to confirm, uh, there was a little bit of confusion in the last episode. Only certain maps have garages. Not every map has a garage. So, for example, Black River does. Smithfield Dam does. Drummond Island does not have a garage. And Island Lake, again, does not have a garage. So, yeah, not every map has a garage just so you guys are fully aware but yes we are back in the snow cannot believe it we are finally here should we um i don't like doing this but this is a, a poignant moment i want to skip time to the morning oh yeah the sun is rising on the snow this is gonna be incredible i can't actually wait I thought this was maybe a, a good time to try the snow out again. I know it's, it's it's very tempting to sit in Michigan and do every task possible, but I wanted to try some other stuff out. I want to, I want to explore different different adventures, I guess. I want to go to this watchtower right here. Let's see what's about. So if we turn right here and follow this main road, seems like a good idea. And apparently it might be a tunnel. Interesting. Actual snow. And by the way, the snow physics are incredible. So different to how mud and dirt reacts in Michigan. It's so, so different. So much lighter and softer. Which I know sounds obvious, but for a game that's really hard to nail. As my voice gives up. Um, yeah, really hard to nail. Snow is tricky. Already, the snow slowed me down there. Oh, it's so cool. I'm so pleased we're back. We briefly visited in the first episode. Very briefly. And yeah, I could definitely do with chain tires. No doubt. 100%. But, ooh, why didn't go that way? So that looks like a piece of the pipe work has just collapsed. So that's normally how I think gas is delivered. Probably completely wrong. So I can't go that way. Hmm... Okay, then. How do we get across? <laughs> I don't know. I'm already stuck. I'm already stuck. I can probably go under it there and head into the trees. But th this is challenging. This is muddy. It is snowy. It is cold. <laughs> really cold. Real cold. Let's go into lower upper. Lower plus. I'm finding the gears really useful, actually. The lower and the plus are so useful. Obviously, you can still lock it in diff and still be in the lower plus. Which is definitely, definitely good. Right, so where do we go from here? So I can't seem to cross this part of the map. It seems like it's completely just cut off. Which was not my plan. Uh, you can probably try and go through the trees. I don't know. Could be quite tricky. Let's, should we give it a go? We give it a go. If we get stuck, we get stuck. The garage is pretty close. It's not that bad. Yeah, I, I, I thought... Oh, we're already stuck. <laughs> and we've got the diff as well. This is probably where you need those chain tyres. This is where I'm going to probably feel a bit, a bit negative about going into Alaska. I don't know. Okay, we can actually use the pipes to winch ourselves up. Well, that's useful. Come on! This snow is so thick. There's a little break in the tree line there. You can just get up. But the cart is not giving up. It's going to keep on going. I don't think even the cart even has chain tyres. So it's not even a possibility. As far as I know anyway. Right, when is there like a break? Is that a trail there? Yeah, that's a trail there. We want to get to this watchtower. 
So if we can get onto that trail, that'd be perfect. Okay, let's try a different angle. Let's try and go this way. <laughs> you can hear my horn going off. Why do I do that in every game? I don't know why. And I desperately try and steer with the uh, analog sticks. The horn always goes off. Come on! Yes, some stubborn branches. Oh, and there's loads of water. Superb. So the watchtower is to our left. Got it. Can get through here? Please. Please let me get through. Oh, I mean to connect with the winch. We made it. We did it. We got past that massive gas pipe. That definitely needs repairing. It doesn't seem to be an objective yet. We've really got to find it. Yeah, I think you I think the high gear might be an issue in the snow. Lower is not too bad. It's just thick snow. <laughs> it's really thick. Again, I don't think the car has chain tires anyway. There's two options. I think the other tire costs like a thousand, a thousand, five thousand, and it actually seems worse. It doesn't seem as good at all. This is oh, this is so bad. There's snow. If we come through here with a truck, like we are so screwed. So badly screwed. No, no, no. We need those chains. It could probably get through, just be a little bit slow going. I'd imagine. Imagine getting stuck in snow, that's embarrassing. Soft little snow, got a bit stuck, did you, in your big heavy truck? Yes, daddy, I did. What does that sign say? Town, ooh! Let's get to the town! And then all of a sudden it comes really muddy. This is a challenge. This is a challenge. A challenge that we will meet and we will conquer. No doubt about that. Uh-oh. Why do I see loads of water in front of me? Look at the amount of snow. This is crazy. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, that's where the pipe goes to. I see fuel! seen a fuel carrier which I will definitely go to at some point because we've already wasted about 20 litres of fuel already and we're, we haven't really done much we haven't done much at all just exploring this snow epic snow oh 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 man what happened there some of the branches in, a, in Alaska are tough tough branches they seem to get attached to my, my windscreen and just, just get off me Stop harassing me. Leave me alone. Anyway, watchtower. So town to the right, oil field to the left. I want to go to this watchtower first. I think the Khan might have met might have met his match, potentially. It has been um, dominating for a long time and it just seems to conquer the mud. But snow might not be its forte. I know. Something's actually been in the car. Incredible. Oh, we did it. Whoa, there's a lot we just discovered. What? A drowned Hummer? Right, so apparently there might be a drowned Hummer just here. Which I definitely, definitely want to have a look at. So we're going to take this route here. It does look a bit, a bit wet, not going to lie. We're going to try and grab some fuel from here. Get the upgrade and then get to the Hummer. That is the plan. Let's see if this, uh, this goes well. <laughs> we all know it probably won't. We all know it. That was um, definitely a good watchtower. Wow. Discovered so much. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let me guess. If we drop off these rocks... Um, how do I put it? The water's deep, basically. The water's very deep. Oh. Okay, I guess we're safe this side. Yes, Khan. You've done well. Very well. Yeah, we can get that hammer. The hammer, is, I believe, is just a rescue. It's not a vehicle we can actually get at the moment. But yeah, it's a rescue. So we're going to rescue the hammer. I just want to see it, to be honest. Just want to see it in all its glory. Now it's time to grab some fuel. As we've learned recently. 
fuel is pretty important. <laughs> we need fuel. We keep running out. It's really not good. It's really bad, actually. It's kind of annoying. It keeps happening. I guess you could blame preparation or a bit of bad luck. We got so close, but anyway. New trailer discovered. Give me that fuel. Yes. We're now fully stocked up. And apparently there's an upgrade by the pipe. Really? Reminds me of, um, I can't remember the film, is it? Um, Tomorrow Never Dies or World Isn't Enough or something like that. The James Bond film where it, there's like a big eccentric oil plot. And I think he tries to travel down those oil pipes in some weird looking hover device. I don't know what it is. It's the one with, um, is it Denise Richards, I think? Anyway, uh, Westline V16. What? So we've got this last... <clears throat> So we've got two options here. We can run along the pipe. I basically reverse back, by the way. And this is a... Uh, what is that? That is terrifying. Um, I reckon along the pipe's probably slightly safer. Plus we've got something to winch onto. So I guess I'll go for that. Wait, yeah, that does look tempting. Just because it looks gnarly. Very gnarly. Ooh. See, see, that's why the winch is uh, useful. <laughs> It saved us from sinking there. I don't even know if this is even safe, to be honest. Or if it's even possible. Because there's a couple of trees there that might get in the way. I mean, the winch we have isn't as strong. But it doesn't need engine power. So, yeah. You squeeze through. Yeah, that's... Oh, that's it. Just squish the tree. No, nope. <laughs> that's not what we want. Oh, it's going to tip over. Nope, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, don't sink, man. Don't sink. I can try and grab onto that tree in front of us. That'd be perfect. See, I do, I do not want to end up in the same fate as that Hummer. I just don't want it. That is deep. What happened here? Anyway. Uh, Mark Pearson, the owner of the local factory, has gone and lost his car again. He's done it more than once. His Hummer fell down from a bridge due to a driver error. Okay. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, see if you can find the car and take it to a nearby parking lot. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. So let's get it out first, and I'm going to work out the location. See where we need to go. Right, what we're gonna do is winch it from here, I reckon. Should be able to reach, he says. It reaches. Perfect! Yes, I, I did figure that the, the water level would be a bit higher. I'm not gonna lie, I sort of worked that out. A little bit of water damage there. If I can try and bring it in just a tiny bit. So we're gonna try and winch it to the local parking lot so basically we follow this pipeline again if we can get back onto this track here and the parking lot is just here so basically back where the garage is okay let's get to it i might have to drive in the snow for a bit let's go hummer we can do it yeah an actual hummer by the way hummers are not light <laughs> the hummers are very heavy in the uk they're pretty pretty rare i'm not gonna lie hummers they're, they're quite, how do I put it, quite brash, is that a good word? They're quite brash, aren't they? It's not the sort of vehicle I would buy. But then again, I don't, or can I get, I can get through there, surely. What? There's clearly space. Whoa! What happened there? Okay, um, don't mess with the pipe. I swear there's enough space there. See, is that just the, the angle I'm looking at? But yeah, we took a, a big hit there. Don't quite know what happened, to be completely honest. I don't know what happened. Yeah, we're just going to move on from that. And try and find, I guess, where the pipe is a little bit higher. But this is thick snow. This pipe is so annoying. Once we get it fixed at the other end, I guess that's slightly better. But it is right through the middle of the first map in Alaska, and it's very annoying. Very annoying. It's very inconvenient. Thank you very much. 
Not a fan. Not a fan. I'm pretty sure there's like numerous pipes going straight through Russia, through certain bits of Asia, I believe, as well. Like, people actually see these. I'm guessing there's probably some pipes going through America, I would imagine. Delivering the gas or oil. I don't know. I don't quite know what I'm talking about, to be honest. So if I'm being completely incorrect, I apologize. All right. Should we try and... Uh, I can see it. But the pipe doesn't look high enough yet. Come on! I do not want that to happen again. Where my car just flips out. Come on, Hummer. Hummer still looks in good shape. I'm sure this Mr. Pearson should actually have this Hummer. If he can't drive it correctly. Oh, look, my previous tracks. <laughs> I love stuff like that. Guess we use the same tracks then. Make sure the Hummer can squeeze through. Oh, one sec. That's not gone very well. Uh, do, 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 do. What can we do here? Hmm. Pull it. bit more like that and then go a bit more straight and then round and also try and bring the winch in a bit more come on Hummer these pipes are so inconvenient there we go just pure force pure force come on that Hummer is so heavy <laughs> I could probably could have used my my pole star and the winch, maybe. That might have worked. Potentially. Come on! We're so close to getting off this pipeline. As you can tell, there's a little bit of a slope here. Come on! I realise the hummer's heavy. We must save the hummer. We must. I wonder if we can potentially buy it after doing this. Because I would be tempted. Especially if it's got snow tyres. Very tempted. <laughs> Very tempted indeed. Alright, we're good. We are good. We are good. Yes, I realise I've got my diff locked, okay? This area is very tricky. That's not too bad. Yeah, so follow this trail around and we should get to the parking lot. In one piece. He says... Come on! Keep going! Is it still good? Looks fairly good. I wonder what the condition's like. I've not even checked. Does it need repairs? Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Back on the snowy roads again. I mean, the car doesn't like roads anyway. By the way, the, the tyres on this vehicle, it's, I think it's mud excellent, off-terrain excellent. On road, very poor. <laughs> so that's why I, I, I struggle so much when I'm on the uh, on the tarmac. It's such a such an issue. You just have no grip because the wheels aren't designed to go on roads. They're designed to go off road, basically. That lower upper gear is so good, so useful. The amount of times you start to slow down and uh, just switch gear. And the, the traction just comes back. So good. We made it, though. Well done, Mr. Hummer. Good job. That wasn't too bad. Apart from my car was flipping and doing 360s. Guessing that was a bit of a bug. <laughs> I'm guessing. All right, deliver the Hummer here. Is it done? Yes, we did it. One sec. Available to purchase. You can buy the Hummer now? Or do I get to keep that? Change truck. What? They gave me the Hummer for free! No! Really? Serious? Oh my god. And we're ri literally right next to the garage. This is so good. I'm so happy. That was so worth doing. Oh, I'm so happy. I just went to see the Hummer. Let alone actually get it for free. I am so chuffed. Very, very chuffed. So engine, there's no upgrades at the moment. They're both in Alaska? Serious? Oh. Did not expect that. Oh, we can buy this SnowRunner gearbox, which does 
help actually quite a bit. It's pretty good. I might buy that. We might actually use the Hummer for a bit. Ooh. Ooh. Hummer, Hummer, Hummer. All terrain. We have off road. We also have mud tires. Actual proper mud tires. What? I'm so going to buy those. Yeah. Definitely. Ooh. The Autonomous Scout Winch. Yes. Yes, we're doing it. These mud tires look absolutely mean as hell. So good. I'm so chuffed. Anyway, uh, the diff can can be engageable. Can be. We've got to find it in Alaska, though. So we're in the right place. Uh, frame add-on, a roof rack. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, repair supplies. So a few repair supplies. I wonder how much it, how many repairs do you think it's got? I don't know. I've got no idea, but I'm buying it. Uh, we have a very small round cap snorkel. It helps a very tiny bit, but not too much. That's level 13. We're quite off that at the moment. That's a long way off. A slanted back trunk kit. I like it. I will buy it. Rear bumper. That is mean. I want that one. Level 10, really? Ugh. I mean, it's not a massive change, but I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. Also, I can sell the stock one. Bye. <laughs> See you later. Do I want some fog lights? So if I put the fog lights on, does that get rid of the... The roof rack? I think it does. I guess we want the roof rack more, don't we? Yeah. They don't quite go together. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll sell it. I don't need it. Front bumper? Ooh, a winch pipe. Yeah. You can make this look so mean. So, so mean. I slightly prefer the second rims. And colour. Do we rock the red again? Is that getting a bit boring? Do we have any... Ooh. That's pretty cool. I quite like that, actually. Bit unique. Yeah. Let's rock that colour. So that is my Hummer. And yes, we are using it right now. I'm in my Hummer. Oh, yeah. How cool is this? It's such a cool looking vehicle. It's just, it just suits this game so well. So pleased we got it. And of course, if we don't want it in the future, we can always sell it. Um, it's struggling a little bit on road. But I mean, we are, we've got mud tires, so we be expected that. These are the most extreme mud tires. So of course it's going to struggle. I love the fact I can turn all-wheel drive off if I want to as well. That's good to have the option. The Khan, you don't have that. Will this replace the Khan? Probably, I don't know, probably not. Maybe in the snow, if there's a chain tire option. Maybe. That could be a possibility. I'll probably keep it, I think. I think I'll probably keep it. Unless we get really tight for money. And there's a truck I really badly want. Who knows? Who knows? Right. Do I need to turn left here? I will look at my map. There's a service that way. Which I think I might have been to already, actually. Is it, is it not that? Hmm. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's actually near the port. There's a port in Alaska. So we follow this main path. We should get to the tower pretty easily. Fingers crossed. Let's keep going. To the port! Not sure about the colour, actually. I don't know. Oh, a gas stop. Is it close? It is fairly close. They've only used up seven litres so far. We're fine. We can always come back. Let's focus on the task in hand. We have a hammer. I'm so I'm so excited. I didn't expect it at all. I knew it was in the game, but I didn't realise it was in Alaska, sitting there waiting for me. Oh. I'm so happy. And it seems pretty good. I mean, I'm not being properly off-road yet, I guess. It's probably not fair to say that yet. Good point. Ooh, is this is a roadblock. Ah. So, bridge repairs. What does it need? Out of interest. Let's have a look. It needs metal planks. So we can try and do that. We do want to try and fix up the map as much as possible. So we can get from point A to point B as quick as possible. 
in the safest way possible. So that would definitely be something we look at in the future, for sure. So I guess we can pick up from the factory. Uh, again, I don't know how we get that oil pipe working. That's just blocking our path currently. Unless I can move it with a heavy crane. Good point. Do think of that. That's a possibility. Maybe that's a possibility, actually. Oh, this looks fairly deep. Oh, what am I doing? I so badly want to get to this watchtower. Let that is a that is a serious stream right now. Are we going to struggle here? Oh no! Here we go. Come on. That's it. You little hummer. Love it. It did not care. Did not remotely care. Did not care. Love it. Thank you, Mr. Hummer. Good job. A little bit slow in the snow, maybe. I thought mud tires might be better for snow as well. I don't know. Maybe not. Does struggle a little bit in the snow. On the roads, though. Loves it. It's loving life. How do we get to this watchtower? There is a route up here. Hmm. How do we get to it? Like I'm going the wrong way right now. Seems like this watchtower is evading me a little bit. I can't find it. Warehouse to the left, factory to the left, and garage straight forward. Let's go left then. Hopefully this is the right way. This it should chew through this. And it is. The mud it doesn't it doesn't care about. Oh, it doesn't care about the mud. It chews for it. Chews for it. Okay. <laughs> it did stop eventually. With that differential, that would help out so much, though. We can get that. We can lock the diff. That would be perfect. Yeah, I think this is the right way. This is the right way to the watchtower. Good, good, good. Let's try and tick off that box. Oh, it's sinking. It's sinking. Got into a lower gear. Oh, please don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. Oh, I need to lock that diff so bad. Uh, I mean, it is deep. I mean, look how deep. Yeah, we are pretty deep. Uh, that's attach the winch because we are getting quite close right now to this uh this watchtower so i don't want to give up just yet wow <laughs> the hummer's so heavy that tree almost comes straight down come on that's it keep chewing keep chewing it's like a really well done steak just keep chewing it'll get nice eventually come on yes this got a bit deep there. I was probably a little bit heavy on the acceleration. Gear was probably a bit too high. And then we got stuck. Good job, Mr. Hummer. I can see the watchtower. It's with my line of sight. We're getting close. Let's keep it going. to a very low gear here. Very low gear. Seems to be working though. That showrunner gearbox, sorry, showrunner? Snowrunner gearbox is very useful. Definitely recommend it. Should get a bit more traction. This is hilly. And snowy. I need to look potentially what is a good tire in the snow. If I don't have chain tyres, is there a good option, like a, a, a plan B? Also, locking the diff would be very useful right now. I think we actually did it. We actually did it. That took a long time. And yes, the Hummer did struggle. But, but, we made it. That was some deep ass snow. Yes! Watchtower, honestly, I've been trying to do this for so long. We made it. Woo! What do you find? An upgrade? Very nice. Oh, is that a vehicle? 
Oh, it's a vehicle. What? Okay. Uh, we should probably try that before we uh, end this episode. Do you think? Yeah, we should. We should definitely do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. So we need to let's set up a, a nav point here. Let's go to here, and then down here. And for this trail, yes, it's very wet. And that is a truck. We can get that truck. We can get it. That's ours. I'm so excited for that. So we we go back down. Like back down this way. The way that we took so long to go up here. And now we're just like going back down. Are you kidding me? Alright, fine. At least we're going down. Momentum and gravity will help us. Yeah, look how much quicker this is. <laughs> so much quicker. Or not. No, why do I why do, why do I speak? There we go. I'm trying to sort of edit basically the position of the truck using that tree with the winch from behind, and then hoping I can't believe how deep this snow is. We're having so many issues with this snow. Come on, it's a hill. Go down it, please. That's so bad when I get that truck. Please roll. We're moving though. We are moving. I promise. I know it may not, not, may not look like it. It may look very, very slow, but we are we are progressing. Attach the wind to the front. Grab onto that tree. And pull. Yes. Let me out. We did it. We did it. We're out of the snow. We are out of the snow. We're now in the mud. And this is very deep mud. Oh, God. <laughs> I can see why this truck got stuck. That, that, that I can see. Also, I think we may have... Yeah, we have fuel in our little roof rack, which is pretty cool. So, should we use it? Yep, yeah, it's got 40 litres. How cool is that? I love this Hummer. I really do. I really do. We need to find, though, that upgrade part for the differential. To make it a bit more usable. And potentially change the tyres. It's definitely a, a route we need to take. But you can see with the mud, it's 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 fine. Like it keeps it keeps going. This is hilly. This is very hilly, very wet, a lot of snow, and it just keeps going. It's doing a pretty good job, a decent pace as well. But the thick snow it just cannot handle it. Really can't. Which is unfortunate. So yeah, we go to here. And it's now about to get a little bit wet as well. And yes, there is an upgrade there, which I will definitely grab. Is that definitely a truck then? It is the Royal BM17. Ooh. Sounds good. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Come on. That's it. Don't sink. Don't sink. Come on. I think there's a few trees around for us to grab. Please. I so badly want this truck. Yes. See you later, tree. Oh, I pulled it down. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> Whoopsie. So, you guys impressed by this Hummer, or do you feel like the Khan is definitely better? It's, it's it's hard to tell, to be honest. I'm not sure. I guess these smaller tires are probably a factor. So the Khan does have massive tires. But again, I think that would have struggled in the snow as well, so. Oh, that is deep. This is real deep. But we want the truck. We want it. So, yay. Let's do it, I guess. Let's keep doing it. Let's keep chewing. Oh, no. Progress feels very slow right now. <laughs> Can I go a bit quicker? No, nope, that's not a good idea. Are we going to sink? Are we going to sink? We are moving. Again, it may not... Ooh, ooh. It's a little bit dangerous. A little bit dangerous. Attach the winch to the front. Let's try and attach it to that tree over there on the right in front of us. Lovely. 
Good tree, a good solid tree as well. Just what the doctor ordered. Um, bank's quite steep though. We'll try and get on this bank, maybe. Try and get a couple of wheels on some decent terrain. I say decent. Definitely not decent. Using this winch a lot, aren't I? Yeah. Serious amount. I'm trying. Also thinking maybe the autonomous uh, winch isn't the most useful for the Hummer. Like, is the Hummer really going to roll that much? I don't know. Obviously, this this winch is not as powerful. Obviously, the Hummer's quite heavy. Whew. Thank you, Mr. Tree. I love you. I love you, Mr. Tree. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Try and get on this bank. Come on! Go on, Hummer. Do it! Do it for the gram. I don't know why I said that. Oh. Can you get up? I need a little bit of assistance. There we go. And there it is. It's right in front of us. Well, I'll be damned. And we do actually have a few repair points as well. So we could maybe try and get it to uh, actually move. Because surely it's better than this Hummer. <laughs> maybe. Who knows? Track. Track. Truck. Discovered even. Right, let's try and pull up next to it. Oh, it's activated. Hello. Uh, repair. Can I switch to... So the engine is not looking great, is it? That's looking bad. Oh, oh just, did I just spend all my points? Yeah, all my points are gone. One sec. We have repair supplies again. Gearbox. Gas tank is not looking that great. Okay, we can probably use that. We can probably use it. Change trucks. Ooh. Howdy. So, can we reach this upgrade in this truck? It does have all-wheel drive. So, that's a plus. We definitely need that. Uh, so, let's get... Let's just set a waypoint straight there. This is about to get very interesting. So, with the supplies on the Hummer, we managed to repair it. But, is it good enough? Is it good enough? I mean, it's a big ass truck. I think it's a heavy. I'm pretty sure it's a heavy truck, not an off road truck. And those look like highway tyres to me. I might be mistaken. It's doing alright so far. And there. Oh. Spoke too, spoke too early. <laughs> spoke too early. There we go. Beautiful. The upgrade is just there. That looks actually quite far away. I thought it was just over this little hill, this little bump. It's not quite... We can get to it. We can get to it. It's fine. We can get to it. I mean, the suspension exactly isn't... Isn't exactly in great shape, is it? Let's be honest. Winchy, winchy. Bye. <clears throat> uh-oh. Uh-oh. Water's becoming an issue. Get the upgrade! Yes, I think we've done it. Is this the upgrade? Better be the upgrade. Yeah. Yes. We actually did it. What is it for? Oh. I thought it, I was, I was, I thought it might be the differential, but it's not even that. It's all-wheel drive for the Caterpillar. So does this truck have any potential? The Royal MP17, I wonder. Does it have potential? It's got a few engine upgrades. It doesn't have a differential. It's got a bunch of all-terrain tyres unlocked already. Off-road, chained. I want them so much. But level 12 is so far away. So far away. Ugh. So annoying. You can put 51-inch tyres on this. Which is... That's, pr that's pretty mean. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty mean. That's a weird-looking snorkel. Not sure about that. That is weird. So I already got that snorkel on already, which is basically like an air filter. That is pretty high, but it looks like a puppet. It looks weird. 
It does look very weird. It's actually an okay looking truck though. I do like it. Bit of aircon. Very nice. Cabin protector, which actually cost a lot of money. Oh, that looks like it can do some serious damage. That is mean. Very robust. I think it's the right word. So yeah, there is definitely potential. But if we was going to sell it, how much would we get? Whoa. 123,000. That is, that's quite a lot of money. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.